Many tourists who visit the pyramids at the Geyser Plateau in Egypt overlook the Solar Boat Museum. The boat was discovered in 1954 when the ground was being cleared for a tourist road and a series of 40 slabs of limestone were found set into the ground. Excavation began in May and once the pit was opened it smelled of cedar wood and the pieces of a complete boat arranged in 13 layers was discovered. Even the ropes and mats were intact. The boat measured 143 feet long and 19 and a half feet wide with an estimated displacement of more than 45 tons and looked remarkably like a Viking ship, broad in the beam, shallow and with an eye prow and stern. Over 1200 pieces make up the boat which was held together with rope. Given that wet wood swells and rope shrinks the boat would become watertight in water making caulking unnecessary. The Solar Boat Museum is a specially constructed building at the base of the Great Pyramid of Cheops. It is now home to the reconstructed boat. All through the exact purpose of the solar boat is subject to some debate. It is thought that it may have been used as part of the Pharaoh's funeral procession and then buried alongside the departed to provide transport in the afterlife. Solar boats played and an important role in the story of the afterlife in ancient Egyptian mythology. Each night the sun god Ra, in the form of the evening sun Ra Atom, was thought to sail through the afterlife in one boat to battle gods and beasts, until he rose as the morning sun Ra Arachide and sailed the day boat across the sky.